Jesus accepted himself. And in that, he understands God, not the split God that we've cut in half, but the whole God. As John 1 states, out of his fullness, we have all received grace in place of grace already given. Why have we received grace? Grace that was always there, forgiveness that was always there, but it was unknown to us until Jesus came. It's because we split God up. The forgiveness was always there. The grace was always there. But if we choose to walk the way of Jesus, we'll see that life's not so black and white. It's a mix of the whole lot, a gray pool. That's what you and I swim in. And when we give ourselves a break and stop just trying to be perfect all the time, always trying to do the right thing, we can then have some grace with ourselves, right? That's how you feel forgiveness. You say, hey, stop trying to be perfect with yourself. When you accept who you are, just like Jesus did, no splitting, just reality. You see, when we begin to face our issues and analyze our defenses, then we become free, free from choosing one side or the other at the expense of fooling ourselves with half realities. And that's what Jesus promised. In John chapter eight, it says, if the son has set you free, you'll be free indeed. Freedom from ignorance, freedom from shame, and freedom from perfection. Matthew 5, 48 says, be perfect as your heavenly father is perfect. But the real translation of that is, be whole as your heavenly father is whole. Jesus saw his wholeness, his dark and lovely aspects. He reconciled them. And instead of those aspects beating each other up inside of him, causing tension within himself, he made peace between them. You and me, me and you, guess where we are? We're Christians, little Christs called to do the same thing he did. We're all dark but lovely. We're all guilty and not guilty. And what Christ calls us to do is this. It says he's before all things. Christ, he's before all things. He's holding light and dark at the same time. And here's, here's what he does. He holds that together. Can we hold the tension of both of that together within us? Can we hold it and rise above the debates and division in our world? Can we hold it together as people of the middle road, the narrow road, right? Nobody thinks like this. This is the narrow road that so few people dare go down. Can we be people who stop splitting and be a people who simply live the best we can, people who are good enough, people who stop beating ourselves up when we mess up, but people who get back on the horse when we fall down? If we can do that with ourselves, guess who we'll be able to do it with? Others. When we do that with others, when we're able to, when we do it with ourselves, then we're able to help others. Well, if we do that, then guess what we become? We become what Jesus taught. It says this. You'll, you'll, remember, you'll recognize it from the Beatitudes. It says, blessed are the peacemakers. Blessed are the reconciled people who can hold the tension because you know what they'll be called the children of god 